Welcome to this episode of Taboo Lab where we're talking about all things spirituality. Be sure to check out our Facebook page at TBLBFB. The link will be down below. Also check out our Etsy shop which I'll be giving away uh, a dollar or dollar readings. So one is going to be yet yeah, three yes or no um, pendulum questions for one dollar or I'm doing a card pull of either tarot or oracle card of your choice for a dollar as well which will be in the link down below for my apps channel um, so if this is if you're listening to this um, podcast please be sure to follow and like the podcast and or um, if it's YouTube, be sure to like and sub. Okay, to begin with, what is spirituality? It's a broad term that is and will continue to expand its meaning, but its overall meaning and purpose is when someone either wanting or feel, feeling more connected and in tune with the universe and all having the intentions to find what the meaning on life is. Why is spirituality important? There is a number of reasons why people seek spirituality in their life by for example finding a purpose and meaning in life learning to cope with stress, anxiety, depression and such, gain feelings of hope and optimism, help to feeling a sense of support and community. So these are some examples of why it's important. Moving on to the difference between spirituality and religion. To, get bit, to begin with, sorry, Religion has a defined, strict set of beliefs and practices that must be obeyed to avoid prosecution, sorry, (sighs) where it's about peace and purpose. Oh, sorry, hang on. So, whereabouts with spirituality, it's all about peace and purpose. It doesn't enforce the person to follow and believe in the beliefs and practices to achieve enlightenment. So that's the differences between um, spirituality and religion. Am I able to be both spiritual and religious? You can be one or the other, or you can be both. But understand that if you are one of the terms, it doesn't make you the other as well. It's your choice if you wish to be both spiritual, religious and religious or spiritual but not religious and or be religious and not spiritual. We're the Fletcher boat. Now, what types of spirituality are there? So, there is five kinds that I've found on Google that's pretty much um, the common ones that I've come across which are mythical spirituality which is um, you working and developing um, your intuition second one is author authorize is it hang on sorry let me say that again author is it Authoritism, tism, yes, spirituality. So um, that's more of authority, spirituality. So that's more like religion, uh, where they have strict rules and um, beliefs and practices. Third one is intellectual spirituality. So that's where you um, like to research and 
read into all things spirituality and knowledge and wisdom. Fourth one is servants spirit yes yeah, service spirituality that's like um volunteering and um being service to people to achieve enlightenment last one is social spirituality and that's when um you be with like-minded people um through spiritual terms so like for example, like going to church and um, seeing the gas ball and stuff like that. Now, moving on. What practices do spiritual people do? So, this is not limited to, but some examples of what spiritual people do, which are practices. Count your blessings. Fellowship with like-minded people which is the social um, spirituality participation in spiritual activities prayer and chanting reading spiritual books to develop and deepen your spiritual knowledge spiritual meditation and yoga and so forth okay next what is a spiritual, a spiritual awakening? So, spiritual awakening is a personal transformation someone can go through either spontaneously or slowly working up to the stage over time. What the awakening does, it's a psychological shift within the person's consciousness, values and perception towards themselves, others and the world around them. Last thing to talk about is what are the signs of a spiritual awakening? One, have little to no concern over materialistic things, fame and or financial wealth. Second, don't use labels regarding to ethics, nationality and or other groups people identify with. Five, no, four, sorry. Hang on. Yeah, three, sorry. Having little to no fear regarding to death. Four, be more concerned about global and or universal values. Five, be more united or connected with all humans, all life forms and matter. Six, expressing more passion and empathy towards others and things. Number seven, states of stillness, calmness and well-being from within. Last one, being more appreciative and grateful for all things in life. So that is all for today. So I've done a quick and insightful Google research on spirituality as an overall so I will be putting down the links as reference and to where I've gotten all my information for this episode and I will be including the show notes too down below